Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. What's up, y'all? If you're new for the first time, welcome and thank you so much for your support. If you've been rocking with me, you already know what it is. I love you guys. Thank you for the continued support. You guys know I have a goal I'm trying to reach, right? Um, by the end of the month, okay? So that's a couple of days. And this video is for my home team. So Pisces, hook your girl up, right? Please like and subscribe before you leave. This is your love, your love reading, right? What do you need to know? It's our birthday season. Happy birthday, boo. I hope y'all living your best life. I hope y'all in love. I hope you're happy in love. Hope you're drunk in love, whatever the case is. But we're going to go ahead and get it started, Pisces. What do y'all need to know about your love life? Um, I'm really hoping that we in love, guys. You know how I feel about my home team. I love you guys so much. And um, we are lovers, right? So go ahead and express that love, okay? If you're feeling like you love somebody, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? So that's the pre-shuffle, guys. You guys know that these messages or these readings are general, right? So I try to pick up on all the energies I possibly can. But if all the messages do not resonate for you, just that's okay. Just take what resonates and leave the rest for the other Pisces. All right, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, Facebook, what are you waiting for? Come rock with your girl, Evolving Goddess 444. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys know I shuffle, pre-shuffle off camera to make it a little faster. Let's get started, Pisces. Um, please, Spirit, can I have, we'll do three cards, okay? It's a birthday month. Let's let's find out what we need to know. Um, what do we need to know about our Pisces? We're going to take jumpers. But right now at the bottom of the deck, we do have keep an open mind, all right? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Absolutely, guys, go ahead and step out of that box, okay? You want a different kind of love, right? So go ahead and... <laughs> Keep an open mind, okay? This could be, too, if you're in a relationship, you know, to keep an open mind about your relationship and to um, remain optimistic, right? Be positive, okay? There we go. I'm just going to shuffle one more time because two of those kind of came out together, so I want to see. <laughs> all right, of course. <laughs> of course, Pisces, we got all these cards. Let's go ahead and rock with it, though, okay? So the first card out, or not the first card out, but... First card I'm touching is religious factors, okay? Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So some of you guys could really be spiritually connected to somebody, right? Um, but some of y'all need to go ahead and release the X, okay? So the, the time has come to clear your energy. Now this could also be if you're in a relationship and you guys have some problems to go ahead and clear that old energy. Some of y'all getting booed up, right? Engagement. So some of you guys are going to go ahead and level up. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Some of you guys got some new love. This is beautiful, Pisces. A new person has shared your romantic feelings. And of course, because you deserve love, right? Absolutely. So you are lovable. Passion. All right, guys, we got a lot of cards. <laughs> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and romantic feelings, okay, guys? So your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, guys, so for my for my Pisces that have new love come in, you guys, please, please, please open up, okay? Because it looks like you guys are leveling, leveling up, right? It looks like this was sent straight from the universe, okay? Because it's what you deserve. Um, if you guys... I know my Pisces, right? I'm a Pisces too. This is my home team. So we've been putting in the work, right? So we've been putting in the work so that we can go ahead and attract that love that we want. Um, if you are currently dating somebody, right, because you have a new love, go ahead and um, make the effort, right? I know this is not make the effort, but your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? So that's kind of like make the effort. Don't shy away from it. Release any negative energy, Right, we're on a whole new level, guys. So anybody from the past, go ahead and release it. Any past experiences, go ahead and release it. All right, and allow your heart to sing with joy. All right, guys, so this is very beautiful. Some of you guys are having some new love come into your life. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, healing family issues, okay? So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, this is about, you know, kind of digging deep in the inside. What, what um, experiences in your life has kind of molded your relationships, right? Getting to the bottom of that and knowing that whatever happened in the past, you do deserve love, okay? So maybe you need to go ahead and start praying or, you know, talking to the universe, talking to your angels, talking to your spirit guides to let them know what it is that you want so that you can welcome that into your life and release anything that is not for your highest good, okay? Lower vibrational energies so that you can welcome in a new love, guys. So that's beautiful. We're going to go ahead and pull the tarot, though, okay? 
And right now, guys, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, guys. So this is very, very beautiful. Um, I don't really see any bad in this reading at all, other than just kind of releasing your ex because you could be blocking your blessing, okay? Holding on to something that is just um, a need for you to let it go. All right, guys? So the King of Cups, though, somebody's trying to move in, guys. Could be a water sign, right? We are water signs. But uh, you could be talking with the water sign or a water sign could be moving in. Or just somebody who is emotionally stable, right? Somebody who knows how to express their love. Somebody who is going to nurture you. Somebody who's going to care, care for you. Maybe somebody that's going to cater to you. I don't know. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started, Pisces Spirit. Can I please have three cards for our home team, Pisces? This is February 23rd through March 2nd, guys, okay? So once again, these are general readings. Only take what resonates. Some of you guys are getting married. <laughs> That's beautiful, guys. All right, let's get it rocking. All right, Pisces. I hope we got some good messages. Absolutely, right? So you guys are laying down the burdens, okay? Absolutely. Releasing the X or releasing any energies that are not, that are that are kind of keeping you stuck, right? Being true to yourself, the, the Queen of Swords, you know, she's always like, you know, I've learned from my, I've learned from my past. You know, I see things clearly. I know exactly what I want. I know that I deserve love, right? Because I've transformed and I am going to get exactly what I want, which is a new love. And um, if you are, if you are in the process of a relationship, right? Because you have done the work, right? You've done the work to get the love that you want. So go ahead, guys, express your feelings and um, don't be scared, right? Don't be scared. The Queen of Swords, sometimes she can be a little bit, you know, straight to the point, right? She doesn't really, she's not the Queen of Cups, so she may not be expressing her feelings all the time. But it doesn't mean that it's not there, it just means that she doesn't show them. So, you guys, <laughs> maybe you need to show your emotions, okay? Okay? Um, but yeah, overall, you guys are laying down burdens, okay? Because you're tired of the bull, you're ready to find that true love, and hopefully it's coming in for us, right? On the board, it looks like it's coming in. All right, so uh, three of cups. So a couple of things, guys. Three of cups does talk about a, a, re a reunion, okay? So some of you guys, like I said, could be reuniting with somebody or just celebrating a new love, right? Engagement. So some of you guys could be getting married or, you know, celebrating the fact that you are leveling up, okay? Now, for others of you guys, if your ex is coming around and you guys are kind of getting back together, right? Because you're reuniting because you laid down the burdens, please leave that past energy in the past, okay? Once again, though, for those exes, you get discernment, right? If it feels good and it looks good, then go ahead, right? If the passion is right and the feelings are there and you guys can actually bring in a new love into the relationship, go ahead and rock with it. Use your discernment, though, guys, okay? Use your discernment, okay? All right, so five of wands, guys. This talks about, you know, possibly um, being mentally conflicted. I am going to say this, though, because it's here on the board and we have released your ex. So some of you guys need to release something that you are in if you're in a third-party situation, right? Too many people are involved in this relationship, right? Three of Cups talks about three people, and then we have the Five of Wands. That's way more than enough people there. And the Ten of the ten of Wands, right? Like you're laying it down. There may have been a lot of passion in this relationship, but there's a lot of conflict, right? Like you're feeling like maybe you're carrying all the weight. There's a need for you to kind of be around family and friends at this time to know that you deserve love, right? And that way you can kind of bring in the love that you want and then you can find your new love, okay? Um, for others of you, you guys may be reuniting, right, after kind of coming back together. And there's a lot of people in the mix, okay? This is your relationship. This is your journey. So just make sure that you are staying true to what feels good to you, right, if that's a if it's marriage, if it's a level up, good. If it doesn't feel good, though, maybe you need to decide, right, because this is my dual card. Maybe you need to decide to move forward on a different path, right? The two of wands talks about making a decision. The three of wands talks about moving forward, like seeing what your um, future looks like, okay? What does that new love look like, all right? Especially with the release, your ex, and then earlier, we had to stay optimistic, okay? So some of you guys need to stay optimistic about your love life and release the things that are no longer working for you. And that could even be people that are in a relationship, right? You guys have the potential to level up 
You guys have the potential to level up if you could just rise above the conflict, okay? Letting it go, right? Seeing things from a different perspective, right? A higher perspective. Because I feel like, you know, first of all, my Pisces, you guys are very intuitive. So I know spiritually, intuitively, you're feeling something, right? So go ahead and rock with those feelings, okay? Um, but let's let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so five of wands. This took a this took a turn, guys. I hope the second row is gonna be good. I'm inside the five of swords, right? So the five of swords talks about we have five five. You guys were definitely maybe in your head a little bit. Um, some of you guys really need to release something in the past. Okay, this is like a lot of conflict, laying down burdens. This is kind of like deception, backstabbing. Some of you guys didn't see something coming, right? You're um, deciding to walk away from pain though, because he's carrying the three swords, which talks about disappointment, talks about pain. The two swords talks about needing to make a decision, right? And then both of these, we have the um, the fives. The fives are like split between three and two. So definitely, I'm feeling like there is some kind of pain, or you guys are, um, you know, maybe going through something right now, and you could be conflicted. You could definitely be conflicted about something, right? Wanting to maybe wanting to release. Okay, all right. Thank you, spirit. So some of you guys have past um, relationships that have burdened you, right? And you are carrying that forward, okay? And there's a need to release the past, right? Your past experiences that where you felt like you were carrying all the work, okay? Or carrying all the weight and know that you deserve love and that the universe will absolutely bring you that, okay? <laughs> all right? So you definitely deserve a new love that's gonna give you that next level, okay? The next level, of the engagement, the wedding. Now, oh my God. All right, I'm going to flip some more cards. I'm um, going to flip some more cards. We'll see what else we have. All right, guys. All right. All right, so some of you guys are single. Like, that's just what it is. Some of you guys are single. Some of you guys are focusing on yourself, right? Because you know that you deserve love. Some of you guys are focusing on your money. Some guys, some of you guys are like, you know what? I've been through the battle. I've kind of went on. Um, I got, I got mind, body, and soul. I got peace of mind, body, and soul. And it's like, you know what? I'm here now. I am planning for my future. But right now, I'm just kind of living in the moment, right? I'm going with the flow. I'm enjoying where I'm at right now. And I'm just kind of focusing on me. Right, maybe focusing on you so that you can go ahead and bring in a new love. Absolutely, right? Releasing the burdens from the past so that you can go ahead and know your worth, right? And bring in that love. Some of you guys though, um, by you stepping in your power, somebody somebody's coming back. You guys are reuniting, right? They are maybe wanting to lay down the burden so that you guys can move forward. They may have had like a lot of people involved, they may have broke your heart. Um, they're wanting to come back. Use your discernment, guys. Use your discernment, right? There, if it can be, if a new love can be brought into the relationship, great. Okay. Um, it does say that there's passion here, right? So there is a lot of passion. Passion is not the only thing, all right. So just make sure you're using your discernment. Um, the relationship may have the potential to go to the next level with an engagement, okay? If you're able to release the past, okay. Because some of you guys are involved with somebody who is um, there's like a spiritual connection. So there's definitely a real connection between you and this individual. Um, but some of you guys need to, some of you guys need to accept something for what it is and let it go. Okay. Whether that be let your past go or let this relationship go. All right. Because you got a new cycle. Okay. So whatever has happened in the past, this is a new cycle trying to turn in your favor. Right. So, um, that could be the reason why a little bit you're mentally conflict, mentally conflicted, right? You are wanting something new, but maybe you keep on being brought back to the past. So the Wheel of Fortune, guys, you got to go with the flow, okay? You have to stay on top of the wheel. If something is feeling right, you have to go ahead and go for it. Because you're very intuitive, and I know that you guys know what you're talking about, okay? But yeah, some of you guys are some of you guys are reuniting though. With the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, you guys are getting a brand new start. You guys are getting a brand new start. Like it was fated. Whatever happened in the past, it was fated to happen. It was maybe to teach you a lesson, right? Maybe teach you something about yourself. Maybe even teach that individual something about themselves. And you guys are now able to come together. Some of you guys went through all that because 
You needed to stand up and get a new love, right? And this love is going to be the love of your life. All right. All right, Pisces. Okay, so the devil card. So once again, some of you guys are in unhealthy relationships. You got to let it go, guys. You got to let it go. You got to know that you deserve love, okay? Call on a higher power if you need that help to kind of get you to the next step, right? Release those energies that are, are kind of keeping you keeping you from um, moving forward, right? The will of fortune is trying to get you to the next level. And if you're with somebody, people, places, or things, this is a love reading. But if you're mentally in your head thinking that you don't deserve love, guess what, guys? This will is not going to turn for you. So please, you know what I'm saying? Leave the past in the past. Leave relationships in the past that had you feeling like it was codependent, had you feeling like it was a lower energy, had you feeling like, you know, you couldn't live without them. That's a good thing to say, you know, happily ever after. But you guys don't ever want to feel like you have to be with somebody, okay? Or you lose yourself, right? You need to always know that you deserve love first, all right? Anything extra is extra, okay? Um, but yeah, some of you guys are maybe scared. Some of you guys are definitely scared because of the past, whether this is a past relationship resurfacing or because of your past experiences, they're stopping you from moving forward, okay? Universe is trying to give you a new cycle of love. Because you deserve it, guys. All right? Some of you guys are really feeling a certain type of way towards a special somebody, but you're not expressing it. All right? And some of you guys need to release some kind of energies so you can allow that passion to come in. Come on, Pisces. Like, y'all know y'all the star of the show. Go ahead and open up your heart. Let that new love in, okay? You definitely deserve to be wife. Or you definitely deserve to, you know, be a husband. <laughs> However that resonates for you guys, though, um... Some of you guys might just be focusing on the money, and that's cool, too. Okay, just trying to step your game up, right? Step into your power, know, you know, know your worth. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to pull really quick, guys. I know this was really intense, and it started off good. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, no, I have to do a Pisces. But, I mean, I think it's still good, though. I think overall, Pisces, some of you guys just really need to um, let go of the past. Whether that's a bad relationship or if it's just um, a bad relationship that you are in it or a bad relationship that you can't let go of. Some of you guys need to let go of those experiences um, and, and accept those situations for what they were. What did you learn? What are you walking away from? And don't let that impact your don't let it impact your future, right? Know that everybody is not the same, okay? Know that true love does exist, all right? And know that you deserve love, okay? All right, so let's go ahead. Um, let's pull let's pull one card, okay, from this one, and then uh, I think I might do a card where it's like, how does Pisces do feel about them? But we won't do it on this one because we're already at 18 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and do it on the next one. We'll find out how your boo is feeling about you, okay? So, um, sorry. All right, spirit. So can I have one card, please, for our Pisces? Maybe two cards, right? Because this is intense. I want you guys to live your best life. It's your birthday season. Happy birthday, guys. I really love you guys. I rock with y'all tough. You know, I got double Pisces in my chart. So I am fully aware of what you guys are. Um... But this is about make the effort. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, be supportive, okay? Uh, make a genuine effort to show that you care. Some of you guys care about somebody and you're not putting in the effort, okay? And look, guys, we have new love again, okay? So um, embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Absolutely, you guys. Some of you guys are stepping into your own power. Some of you guys are spiritually evolving, some of you guys are just kind of focusing on you so that you can know your worth, right? Maybe maybe you're focusing on the money. But some of you guys are leveling up, right? Some of you guys are getting engaged. Some of you guys have new love. No matter what this is, there's new love on the board for you guys. But you need to release those old energy. Anything that didn't work in the past, the relationship, you know, any troubles, whatever the case is, that was then. Step into your future, guys. Know that you are the sh okay? I love you guys. And, um... That's what I have for my Pisces. So talk to your girl. I'll talk back to y'all. Peace.